Hey guys, how's it going? So, Yolha just came out, a character that uh, didn't really have much announcement, but had a couple of leaks of her before she came out into a data mine. So, we had already kind of seen what her skill set was, her multipliers, and taking a look at it, it didn't really seem all that impressive. Um, I like her design a lot. I think her skill set is kind of a weird mishmash between like Crow and Sage Bale. Which is kind of weird, and it's all honestly really insane that she's a knight that's also Earth. Because looking at her, she looks like either an ML or like a water unit, water mage maybe. But um, I definitely want to try her out. She's currently banned in RTA, however. So to test her, I could only bring her to Guild War Arena and custom lobbies. Although from the custom lobbies, I think I got a good amount of testing in on how the character worked and what I'd want to do with them. So I have a pretty free-to-play looking build overall, you can see the 275 pieces. I only maxed her S3 because this extra CR didn't really matter for testing her, and you know, it, you obviously would want to max this effect chance if you wanted to get it to 100 for RTA and other stuff like that for consistency, but it didn't really matter too much to test. So she has the same base stats as Fallen Cecilia, so she's really easy to make tanky. So I just decided I'm going to make her really really tanky and see what happens. There's two builds in mind that I had. Either this one, or another one would be maybe like an Elbrus user or something, support for the team, but it just doesn't seem quite right because, I mean, that would mean all she is, is a, you're hoping for an Elbrus proc or a counterattack from this, so that she gets hit and reflects damage, and then eventually has threes, but that just seems so conditional and random, it didn't seem worth it. So I thought instead I would make her my tank, and put an Aureus on her, and you know, when she gets low enough, she gets to S3, and... Yeah, I kind of want to use your like crowd, basically. So here's the thing. Overall, I think she's worse than Crow. Um, her S3 does less damage than Crow, but the kicker is that it uh, ignores things like Aureus and T-Craw's at damage share. Any type of damage sharing is ignored. If you do the math, then let's say you use it on a target that is protected by Aureus. She will do about the same damage as Crow because he doesn't ignore the Aureus, but if they don't have something like Aureus, then she's just doing less. Um, another big problem is the fact that she's Earth. So, I think the idea of this unit is you use them in Guild Wars or Arena, and Hua Young is going to kick Yolha, and she'll survive, and then she gets to S3 something. However, in RTA, that's never going to work because no one's just going to kick Yolha and just say, oh, I'm going to go for it. They're just going to not ever attack her so they don't get reflected, and she's going to slowly get towards this, but before she gets low enough, usually somebody can do a big attack to just finish her off. No one's going to just whittle her down and then slowly keep attacking her until she gets to 30% on this, and so she can S3 you. It's just not really going to happen. And since it does less damage than Crow, she's just less scary. So overall, it just feels like she's a Crow that's more selfish because she doesn't give defense buff to the team, and she's doing less damage, but she has a fun little thing where she reflects damage, and I guess if you're debuffed, she gets to cleanse and push herself up to use the S3. But I found it's just really rare to ever be able to do that. Crow is giving so much utility to the team with his shield, um, or his defense buff, rather, and that helps a lot, right? And he's able to S3 at an easier time, like let's say he's missing 16,000 health, then you know his S3 is going to probably do somewhere around 16,000 damage. But for Yolha, if she's missing 16,000 health, it's usually doing like 12 to 11,000 or something like that. And not to mention, since she's a grass unit, she misses on fire units, so units like um, Hua Young, you know, she's always going to miss on them, doing less damage. In RTA, she also takes 30% less damage from Yolha. So, Yoha can't even kill Hua Young in RTA even if she survives. Not to mention an attack buff Hua Young can probably one-shot Yoha, so it's kind of disappointing overall. Um, so I did a bunch of testing and I just found her kind of lacking. Overall, I think people should probably skip her and wait for the summer units that are going to be coming maybe in a month or less. Uh, we have a lot of stuff slated to come out within a short period, so it's probably better just to save up. I like this character a lot, but I just don't really see her being used outside of a few niche cases in like Guild War, and overall, there's lots of substitutes. As for her artifact, um, I actually pulled a few of her artifact, and I think if you're using her in something like Guild War, you would probably want to use it. Uh, here it is. 
Because the extra barrier is nice and it makes it so she does extra damage, but the thing is you can't really use this on her outside of something where it's an AI attacking her. Because otherwise people are going to see that and say, oh, I'm just not going to attack this unit. And they just ignore her, and she's not really going to work most of the time. Um, also a big problem is the fact that her S2 is only for single attacks. If it was AoE, you could at least be like, okay, well, you know, maybe she works well versus um, some really aggressive teams and stuff, but... Since it's single attack, no one in their right mind is just going to hit her. <laughs> it's kind of ridiculous, right? The shield, however, does just proc when she gets uh, low enough. I think it's to 30% uh, of her health bar or less, yeah. Um, but all in all, uh, I think there's better tanks in the game. There's not that many tanks that are being used right now. It's overall just characters like Fallen Cecilia, although we see less of her. Pylus, Ross are two huge ones right now. t Crosset is great versus high aggression. Um, and so it just feels like she doesn't really have anywhere that she fits in with all of that. It's unfortunate because I really like the character, but I just don't really think she has much going on. I think she's missing something core from her skill set, and I'm not sure what it is. Some reason for people to have to attack her, or maybe some sort of punishment for not attacking her, or something along those lines is what she's missing. So I hope that maybe they give her an exclusive equipment or a buff sometime soon, but I'm not going to hold my breath. It might take a long time. Uh, I think this character shows some promise if she got some changes, but as she is now, I don't recommend anyone pull, and hopefully someday in the maybe near future she'll get some cool uh, fixes or changes or something. But anyways, for the rest of this video, I'm going to show off uh, just a guild war battle and a couple matches of RTA, a few of them. And, uh, you know, you can kind of see how she performs and what she does in the average battle. So, once again, thanks a bunch for watching. If you liked what you saw, maybe like the video or subscribe to the channel. And I hope to see you guys next time. Okay, that's not supposed to happen. Um. Whatever, we still get to try it out, okay? We're just gonna kill this thing, get this thing out of the way, alright? Ignore that. That doesn't matter. What matters is Vigor Hua Young kicking my Yoha. Alright? <laughs> I, I don't know about the, the speed there, but... Okay, I didn't think I was going to outspeed, too. Um... <laughs> okay, it's fine, it's fine. This is a tank Hua Young. Okay, she took some damage, but... Huh. I don't know about that one. Okay, let's just see how much damage Yolha does though, alright? Oh, okay, so that procced. How much does this do? Oh, it's 15,000 damage, huh? That's actually enough to full to zero that Hua Young. Um, that's pretty good damage right there. Um, I max molded her at S3, so, you know, it has a good amount of damage, right? Let me just finish this one off. She doesn't reflect the tooth damage, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm just saying, like, she's sitting on this wheel, and it's spinning. I mean, I get, maybe she's floating above it? I don't know, dude. I, I'm just pointing that out, okay? I'm just, I'm just pointing something out. You know? I'm not saying anything too crazy here, alright? So settle down. Settle down now. I think I am going to do this anyways. I think the ring is flowing through her hands. Wait. I just realized... Yoha works really well in this situation, doesn't she? She's like really good here. Huh.
If she had a built-in Aureus, I think being able to put her on Elbrus and other stuff like that could make her work a lot better, you know? So it'd be kind of nice. It just feels like Yoha's missing something small. Because I, I like the fact that she's able to reflect damage, but she's just missing something most of the time. I can show the stats after this game. Well, actually, no, I can't. When we're done testing her. Wait, that's revealed. What the... Bruh, what do you mean resistance? <laughs> okay, dude. <laughs> um, does she have any facial expressions that aren't hideous? You're calling Yoha hideous? How dare you? How can you do that? Oh my. I will shape my own future. Oh, that doesn't actually matter that much. Don't come near me. What is the best course of action? Oh my god, I hit. What the? Seems a good match. The thing is, Yoha just kills him. I never fight a loser. In fact, I'm gonna guess that she kills right now. With 13,000 health missing? Let's find out. Let's try it out. I don't know how much health he has, but... I mean, it hit, but even if it missed, it would have killed. 12,000 damage to a Ronin Violet, that's pretty hurt. Because it ignores Aureus and all damage transfer. Okay. Okay, I didn't expect to be faster. Resistance, what the... Maybe I made a big mistake here. Wow, that's actually kind of crazy. <laughs> um, what are the odds of that? Damn. That's kind of shocking. Yeah, I'm surprised Ross resisted. I have like 70% effectiveness, which means he must actually have a lot. Wow. That was like pretty insane from Politis there. Or not Politis, uh, Solitaria. So, I want you to pay attention to Yolha in this match. And take a look at how much Yolha is going to do compared to Ross in this match. Let's take a look at and see. <laughs> okay, okay, maybe don't look that closely, all right? L look closely, but not that close. Yeah, he's actually- oh wait, I stripped that. Found you. Oh, we procced it. And there goes the stealth. The ring effect behind her is actually pretty cool. I think they did a really good job with the character's model and design and all this stuff. Yola actually is really cool. Whoa, whoa don't, don't like whoa! Don't pay attention that much to Ross. All right, let's calm down. <laughs> Her reflect damage just like. They should do something weird with her, like... What if, when she gets attacked, 
she, um... What if she applied debuffs when she got attacked or something? Like, to really punish people? That would be so much more interesting, you know? What debuff? Well, it could be like a few different debuffs. I think unhealable would make sense. I think an unhealable debuff would be kind of cool. Yeah, attack down maybe. Like, just a few things like that, you know? Then nobody would attack her. Well, nobody attacks her anyways, but that would mean that AoE at least would get affected by it too, right? Yeah, and the reflect should be based on her HP. That's true. She just doesn't punish anybody at all for anything right now. It's kind of the problem. And also, look, she has injury on her now, so now she does even less. Like, that's kind of a shame. Crimson Seed, huh? Well, she falls victim to the same thing that Crow does, but then she also does it worse than Crow. So where does that leave us, you know? Hmm. So, so far this match, Yolha has provoked two times and gotten hit with injury, which makes it so that she's kind of done nothing. This is gonna really hurt. Okay, it might be time for Yolha to shine, alright? Because I'm about to take so much damage that maybe with Aureus, Yolha's gonna get low enough to actually do something. Let's find out. Oh? Actually, though? Right here? 19,000 heals a bunch? Okay, and now we still have a tank? Okay. It's not enough to kill a Ravi, but... Wait. Please don't hit. <laughs> Wait a second. Okay, we're cool. Actually, we still have her S3. We're cool either way. That's true, they also had less chance to crit because they were sealed and lost some. Okay, so Yolha actually works kind of nicely there, because Krau wouldn't have gotten the push-up as well. Krau does much more damage though, so if he had gotten a turn, he might have been able to actually just kill her is the thing. She's situationally based? Oh yeah, she's absolutely- she's very situational, but the thing is, I think there's almost no situation where you'd use her over Crow. But, uh... I mean, hey, she worked in this match, right? She must be OP. Or something. She really just seems like a Guild War unit. Disappointing. I guess she did have a little bit of injury. She actually would have done more damage. I'll deal with this. She actually would have done closer to 21,000 damage, I think, without the injury, at least. This vessel can no longer contain me. All right. Uh, wait, she didn't stealth. Hold up. Let me guide you on to the right path. The situation is I guess it's a damage politis. It's time for the finale of this little puppet show. Yeah, I'll put a video up tonight of Yoha. Oh my. I'm gonna try and use Yolha on Apocalypse Ravi to see how much damage we can get, you know? I'm gonna, like, not play optimally here. Oh, I don't have a 100% chance. Whoops.
Yeah, I should max Mola her S1. Ideally. Hey, uh, Maxwell, just curious, if you're here, like in chat, right? What do you think of, uh... What, what, what's your opinion on, um... Starting with Dark Corvus? Hey, Icarus, what's up, dude? Uh, potatoes. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do at the moment. I'm very shocked. Does that mean you're here but you're not typing or? Hmm. Question came out of nowhere? No. There's a reason. If you know, you know why. <laughs> oh! Let's see how much damage this does. It's gonna do a lot. It's not gonna kill, but. Wow, that was, you know? Hmm. That was pretty good, but Crow would have just been better. That's the thing. Crow would have just done better. That's the issue. Wait, she almost died. Stop bullying my Yolha. Bruh, it didn't work. Oh no. She's gonna die. Yolha, no! Yeah, you know, if Yolha actually did reflect all damage, not just single target, I think it would be kind of crazy sometimes. Kind of think it wouldn't be okay. So, if Yolha decides to actually land her stuff, I might be okay. Uh-oh. Well, that's pretty bad. I guess I lose. Senya? Yeah, a character that has a 50% chance to do that? That's great, wow. I love RNG. Oh, we finally procced it, but it's too late. It's one turn too late. So now we just lose. Feels bad, man. Oh! Hmm. Counterattack? Oh, no counterattack. Yeah, it's this too. Yeah, Yoha only did 16,000 damage there, guys. While missing like 28,000 health. Not that much. Like, missing like 25, 26,000 health, and she only did 16,000 damage. 